So in this video, I want to find the exact value of each of these shaded regions. Okay, so in this first one, we've got the curve of y equals 1 over x cubed, and I'm going to integrate it between 2 and 6. Okay, so this is what I want to find, the integral of 1 over x cubed dx between 2 and 6. Okay, now I want to get that into a format that I can actually work with, so I've got to rewrite that as x to the minus 3 before I can integrate. So now I'm ready to integrate, open up the square brackets, adding 1 to the power, dividing by the new power, evaluate between 2 and 6, let's tidy that up, okay? So what is that? Well, x to the minus 2 is 1 over x squared, so that's minus 1 over 2x squared. Oh, not dx, don't want to put that in there. Okay, so that if you can see, is minus 1 over 2 times x to the minus 2, which is x is 1 over x squared. Okay, so you can rewrite it in that format. Okay, so now I want to substitute in the 6. So open up a bracket. So minus 1 over 2, lots of 36, so the 6 squared. And here, substituting in the 2, minus 1 over 2 lots of 2 squared. Okay, so what have we got in this bracket? We've got minus 1 over 72, and we're going to take away in this bracket minus 1 over 8. Okay, so we've got minus 1 over 72, and then we're going to add 1 eighth, and we get 1 ninth. Okay, so this shaded region has an area of 1 ninth. Okay? So that's the first one, and my eraser is right here. Okay, found it. Right. That's that one. Okay, let's have a look at number two. So number two, the area is below the x-axis, so when we integrate, we should get a negative result, and so I want to take the positive result to get the area. So we're going to be integrating this uh, root x take away 25 between 0 and 625. Okay. Now I want to get that into a form that I can integrate, so I'm going to write that as x to the half take 25, evaluated between 0 and 625. So square brackets, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, 25 will integrate to 25x. Let's tidy that up. So 1 over 3 halves is the same as 2 thirds. So 2 thirds x to the 3 halves take 25x, evaluated between 0 and 625. OK. So substituting in 625. So we've got 2 thirds times by 625 to the power of 3 halves. So that is 31,250 over 3, and 25 lots of 625, so take away uh, 15,625. Substituting the 0, I'm going to get 0, take away 0. So I just need to work out 31,250 divided by 3, take away 15,625, which is minus 15,625 over 3. Okay. So the actual area that I want is the positive of that. So what 15,625 divided by 3, which is um, 1,736 uh, to the newest integer, okay, to the newest whole number. Okay. So that's number two. OK, so number three. Now, number three, we've got this curve of y equals x to the 2 thirds take away x plus 4. It's a pretty strange looking curve. OK, it's coming down here, then it kind of bounces up, and then goes back through the x-axis that way. You might want to have a look at it on Desmos to see what it actually looks like.
And what I've done is I've kind of cut it <coughs> um, with this straight line. So I want to find the shaded region. So what I'm going to want to do is find the integral between 0 and 8 of this, and then take away the area of that triangle to leave me with the shaded region. So let's do the integral first. So I'm going to integrate x to the 2 thirds, take x plus 4, and evaluating that between 0 and 8. So straight to square brackets, add 1 to the power gets me to x to the 5 thirds, divide by the new power, and then x squared over 2 plus 4x, evaluated between 0 and 8. Right, so let's tidy that up before substituting in. So that's going to be 3 fifths x to the 5 thirds, take away 1 half x squared plus 4x, evaluated between 0 and 8. So, second bracket's just going to be 0, substituting in. So substituting in the 8, so 3 fifths times by 8 to the 5 thirds is 96 fifths. Then we've got 1 half times, well, 64, so 32. And then 4 lots of 8 is 32. So the minus 32 and the plus 32 cancel, so I'm left with 96 fifths. So that is the area between the curve and the x-axis, OK? So I want to subtract the area of the triangle. So the area that I want is 96 fifths take away the area of this triangle. So it's 1 half times the base times the height. So 1 half times the base times the height. So 96 fifths take away 1 half of 8 times 4. So that leaves me with 16 fifths. OK, so that is the exact answer uh, for number 3.